how to type in Japanese on Windows 10 and 7 and 8.1 and 8 as well. Hello, you are watching TapTube and my name is Amulli and if you haven't subscribed yet for my channel, please do right now. So in this video, I'm going to show you two ways to start typing in Japanese using the same keyboard, the English keyboard. You don't have to purchase a new keyboard. Okay, so this is my Windows 10. This will work on Windows 7, 8, 8.1 and older uh, like XP and Vista as well. So to get from Microsoft, you simply on Windows 10 or 7, 8 or whatever Microsoft Windows you have, just go to the start menu and type control panel. Okay. On this control panel, you will see these are the categories. If you don't see these categories, you can change it from here. So if you see like this or this, just change it to categories. So these are the categories you can just click. You have to click here, clock, language, and region. Click on this and then go to language. And then you see this is add a language. Just click on it and then choose your language. For this video, I'm going to choose Japanese, which is here. And then say add. However, on Windows 10, there is an even better way. You simply go to start menu and say add uh, language okay to to this device just click on it and here you will see say add language just click on it and type the name of the language that you want to so japanese and here is japanese just uh, select it and it's been added now you can check here you've got japanese ime microsoft ime so it's that simple. Uh, if you add from here, the same thing will happen. Okay, it's been added. Okay, so the other way, this is Microsoft IME. You can use it to toggle, to switch between the languages installed on your computer. On Windows 10, you simply press, look at the keyboard and press the Windows key and space bar and you would be able to switch between the languages on your computer so let's say i've selected japanese now you can see when you switch to japanese you get this um, another option which is ime option which says right click to open so right click and you will see you can type it in hiragana you can type in katakana and there are a lot of other ways. So once that's selected, open your notepad and you would be able to type in. That's basically, uh, you haven't changed the input method, okay? So now you can, so switch, to switch between the option, to check more options, you simply go ahead and press the tab button and you will see a lot of options available okay control delete to remove this candidate no you don't want to and then press it press the enter key and space and then you start typing again then you say i'm not sure what what it means but i'm just doing something okay this is how if you tab tab Press the tab button, you'll get a lot of kanjis and other things. Okay, starting with that particular sound or whatever you call it, sir. So the other option is you can download Google IME for Japanese language, and that is way better. So to get Google IME, you simply open the Google Chrome or Firefox or Microsoft Edge or Internet Explorer and say Google Japanese. I mean okay and then press enter so here is Google IME just click on it if you're using Google as a search engine that will appear on the very top wherever you are in the world no matter and then you type here uh, then you click here Google Google Japanese input I will translate it from my convenience and then you download it however it's available for Mac and Android as well so just scroll down and download it for the Mac 
and Google for Android devices from Google Play. Okay, so let's go ahead and download it for Windows. And this is available for Windows XP, Vista, uh, Windows 7, 8, 8.1, 8 and 10. And this is far better than Microsoft IME's IME on Windows 7, 8, and 8.1, 8 and Vista XP as well. Um, accept and install. This is going to be downloaded. I'm going to download it on desktop. And it should not take long time. Once the, the download is done, you just double click on it or just single click if you're using Google Chrome. Wait for it and on the prompt you say just say yes. I'm trying to download, downloading, installing, and that's done. So it's been installed. You can just say OK. And you would be able to see you've got Japanese IME as well. You can switch switch to Japanese using the same command, which is um, Windows key and spacebar. OK, so this is how you can use. So let me go ahead and try. You see here, it changes. There are a lot of options available here. With same options, you can go ahead and check a few things here. So let's go ahead and try with Google Japanese IME. You can type whatever. It needs to be changed. So, so on here, basically, when you if you press Shift and A, you can toggle between. English and I guess it's Hiragana. Hiragana, yeah. So you can toggle between Japanese, Hiragana, and English by pressing Shift and A. Okay. That's how you can do it. Now, if you type something and press Tab, you'll get a lot of options. Way better. Okay. What does that mean? I'm not, I'm not sure. This one seems it, it means, I think, home, I guess. <laughs> and you can also press spacebar, okay, spacebar or tab button, whichever one you are comfortable with. You see, you've got 102 options, and just keep pressing spacebar for more options. So you can type whatever you want. Is that Hiragana? I'm not sure. So this is how you can type in Japanese on Windows 10, probably on Windows 7, 8, 8.1 as well, Vista and XP. If you are going to use Google, it will work on any operating system equally, okay? So thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe for my channel. Have a good day. Bye for now. Take care.